Welcome back to Let's Play No One Lives Forever, Burning Dog fans. Kate Archer is in trouble because these people don't seem to believe in armor. They're just wandering around in cloth robes. A moment or the bloodlust takes me. Hmm. I thought I could fire faster than that, to be honest. It's nine. This can fire faster than that. Positional audio in this game isn't very good, as you might expect. Everyone just kind of sounds like they're directly above me. Victoria, I miss you. Tell your mother I have a job now for a fine company, and the pay is very good. Sadly, I've had to assassinate your brother Leopold, but I assure you he did not suffer greatly. Love, Pierre. I'm not even going to address that. I don't even have guns. Oh no, I just have full ammo. You? Come on, Mondolith, don't let me down. a doorknob. It sounds like you're Who schizophrenic. I must be seeing things. <sighs> Boy, that is not going to look on it good on his record when he gets to hell.
And I am the queen of the castle. Wait, I haven't been here. What the fuck? Which one did I come from? This one or the other one? There is no other one. I'm just an idiot. No intel here, either. I'm not sure I would call that letter intel. Hey, their term, not mine. This is the hard rain is falling. Get on that living, my friend. That didn't work. F9, F9. I didn't realize that guy was there. Panicked and, uh,. Well, the shot went a mile wide, as you could plainly see. Oh, oh, are you a thing? Yes. Just not anything useful to me. Kids, don't do that without gloves. Kate Archer is a trained professional. God damn it, is this before or after I found a stupid letter? Uh, fuck it, I will go check. So I'm pretty sure I did get the letter. But I did find this. Ooh, I don't think I've been here before. And I don't just say that because of, uh... Those two guys back there. Or this bar I don't recognize. I say that because of this door with a lock on it. Take that. Oh, thank you, God. I came adjacent to this place once. Yes. There was a man in there, wasn't there? No, I closed that door behind me. Is there actually any way to get up there from here? No. I didn't think so. Weird.
I guess I'll just backtrack uh, to where I'd been going. I like the music. This, uh, you know, subtle night theme reminds me of uh, Sly Cooper. Get that oh, crap! It's you again. Fuck it. All right, let's try that again, shall we? Who is it? <laughs> Fucking A. carries over from level to level. I might actually need that at some point. Who is that? Fucking tile. Who's there? Say it! Was dumb. No, please. We will meet again, Miss Archer. Well, I did the thing. Damn! I sucked. Needless to say, the Morocco assignment was an unmitigated disaster. Report to the war room for debriefing, and try to control your temper. Uh. Oh. Well, I think we can classify Morocco as a complete disaster. I knew we were asking for trouble sending a woman and a fossil like Lowry on an assignment like this. Let's not rush to judgment, shall we? Rush to judgment? I think the facts speak plainly enough. Ambassador Monroe is dead, and we lost another operative, albeit one who should have been put out to pasture long ago. And all we have to show for it are a belligerent, over-educated captive who knows nothing of use and Ms. Archer here, who has demonstrated an alarming lack of competence in the field. I'd like to remind you that Volkov was lying in wait. Someone uh. betrayed us. Indeed. And it seems that someone may have been your charming mentor. Bruno? What are you talking about? The evidence is largely circumstantial, but it is nonetheless compelling. That's crazy. In light of information unearthed during our investigation in Morocco, we now believe that Agent Lowry, Bruno, was in league with these harm chaps. But Volkov shot him. Perhaps to silence him. Or perhaps Lowry was demanding too much in exchange for his treachery. Alleged treachery. 
Lowry was a personal friend and one of our best agents. Unless he is proven guilty, he deserves to be honored, not slandered. In any case, it seems reasonable to assume that you weren't meant to escape, Miss Archer. Bruno was not a traitor. Can you be sure? Every man has his price, every woman too, I expect. When a man reaches the end of his career, it's only natural that he begins to worry about the future. I suppose some men of adaptable moral constitution even find it in themselves to resort to treason. What's your price, Mr. Smith? What are you insinuating? Merely that if Bruno were capable of treason, then so are we all. Enough. It is neither our prerogative nor our intent to judge Agent Lowry at this juncture. We will continue our investigation until we discover the truth. In the meantime, Archer, we must call upon you for another assignment. Although we call upon you reluctantly, I assure you. We've been contacted by an East German biophysicist named Dr. Otto Schenker, who wishes to defect to the West with our assistance. We know that Dr. Schenker is working on a secret Soviet weapons program, although the precise nature of his research remains a mystery to us. He has promised detailed information on the program in exchange for his freedom. It hardly seems necessary to underscore the great importance of this mission. We've had a devil of a time recruiting reliable spies in Berlin. It seems the Stasi have ears to every keyhole in East Germany. Which is why we're taking extra precautions. What sort of extra precautions? It's what we call a domino effect exchange. You'll meet with a series of contacts, each of whom will provide a piece of the puzzle, so to speak. Because the contacts don't know about each other or your mission, the vague information they possess will be meaningless to them, and, by extension, to the Stasi, should they get their hands on it. Perfect. We've also arranged a diversion to help cover your escape. Our man on the inside, Werner von Haupt, will place explosive charges at several locations in the record storage area. You'll need to locate these charges and set the timers. We also require that you infiltrate the main library and photograph certain sensitive documents pertaining to Dr. Schenker's research, in case he's not as forthcoming as he's promised to be. Von Haupt will present you with a disguise that should get you inside the test facility where Dr. Schenker will be working. Locate the doctor and get him out. Keep in mind that if this mission should succeed, we will have struck a mighty blow to the Soviets. We're counting on you, Archer. I won't let you down. Well, you can hardly botch this job as badly as Morocco. You might want to stop by the training facility and test out the new gadgets the toy makers have prepared for you. Heavy. Welcome to Advanced Field Tactics. What appears to be a stylish pair of women's sunglasses is actually a multiple exposure spy camera with an adjustable zoom. Neat. Simply put them on, orient the viewfinder, and snap a shot. Remember that you can zoom in for a closer look at a distant target. Take a picture of this intelligence item with your sunglasses. All right, now open the door to the next area. With the camera? Unfortunately, this cigarette lighter is just an ordinary run-of-the-mill cigarette lighter. Still, it can be useful for providing light, starting fires, or lighting cigarettes. Use your cigarette lighter to light this piece of paper on fire. 
No. All right. Now open the door to the next area. Oh. An elegant cigarette lighter that can be modified with a miniaturized welder. A basic cigarette lighter. Useful for lighting cigarettes, providing light, or starting fires. You took away my sunglasses. How could you do this to me? These relatively inconspicuous looking lipsticks are actually powerful explosive devices that detonate on impact. Accustom yourself to the weight and explosion radius. And try not to blow yourself to smithereens. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play No One Lives Forever. When we try out our new lipstick grenades. <laughs> Later!